Why podcast? Yeah. I guess because I was there yesterday. I was like, well, I'm going to ask you, Dr. Mary. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to call us to order because that little thing says we're being recorded. Um, notice is hereby given that the Animal Advisory Board of the City of Alpine, Texas will hold a meeting at 6 p.m. Uh, located at 803 West Holland and be a Zoom conference. Um, in considering of this attached agenda, meeting room login details or on the website. And let's see if I have to read anything else. Um, action items approved for this meeting will be considered by the city council for final action. Uh, we do have a determination of the quorum and the proof of notice of meeting was uh, 5 p.m. April 5th and it has been posted for at least 72 hours. And I'm opening the floor to public comments and the empty chairs have nothing to say. Um, if everybody can take a look at the minutes from the previous meeting. I had one thing under uh, number five discussion. Uh huh. It says um, discussion regarding the animal permitting process. Should we specify exactly that that was for the kennels? I think we should. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so somebody wants to make a motion to change that line to say uh, discussion recording the animal boarding permitting process. I so move. Okay. I'll second. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. Do I have a second? Second. Yes, sir. Okay. All approved. Raise your hand. Good deal. Thank you, Jennifer. Anything else in there? That's all I see. Okay, anybody else? Eagle eye Jennifer caught that. <laughs> All right, uh, approval of the minutes with the change, we good? Raise your hand, we'll just act like we did it all right. Boom. Okay, um, we're gonna talk just briefly about the 2023 fiscal year objectives regarding combining registration and lease compliance with an informational PSA into utility bills. We talked about this last time. We didn't really come up with any language. We felt like it was a good idea. Um, any, any further comments? And then I'm gonna make a suggestion to see if everybody would like that. Any comments? You think it's a good way to reach the public? Do you think that people will just throw it away? Is it worth the expense? To have mail out? Yeah, with the utility bill. That's saying everybody opens their utility bill. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and is it, uh, I mean, do we need to do it more than once? Do How we... many are there? How many utility bills? I have no clue. How much like, does it cost? I think there's like 2,800. 2,800? Now I don't know. Is that right, Gia? Sure, Judy. I, I, don't, I really don't know. Maybe 3,300. Somewhere around. And would we really reach everybody? What? It is somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you. I'll do that. Uh, is that the way to reach them about uh, le uh, registration and lease compliance, or is it better if we just do a PSA on the radio? I think both. I mean, there's not everyone listens to the radio, and a lot of people just halfway listen to the radio. Um, the paper is not a, a great way to do it because not everyone gets a, a subscription to the paper. So I think certainly trying to reach, most everyone has a utility bill, you would think, unless they live off grid, not in Alpine. It doesn't have to be a full sheet of paper. Yeah. No, it it's just a car. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Whatever fits in an envelope, mm -hmm. you could. I mean, it can go along with a PSA. You know, monthly PSAs that I've been doing already. That's on the, on the radio I, uh i don't uh, we were doing it on the radio for a little bit patsy was helping me with that i have to get going she was yeah. my voice uh, the I, voice of the alpine shelter but i actually heard that have oh. it, um then put it on our city web page and it'd be on the front page as you when you open up city web page and then um i also post it on social or our social media accounts so i think that's, that's a, good, a good way to do it yeah yeah that's plus that's, the that's utility already going on yeah, yeah yeah plus the utility bill or should we just oh yeah because there are tons of people that don't do social media. Okay. And I think whatever method, I think a combination of methods is best because what we've experienced doing clinics is that no matter how you spell it out, people don't read the instructions, they don't <laughs> re-up and post up. People don't 
look at the directions. They don't look at the map that we send. They don't look at what time to show up. They just kind of do whatever the they want. Or the time. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, you would do a PSA and let's put it on the website first. Be sure and look in your water bill, your utility yeah. bill this month. For yeah. some, okay. Some exciting, new, you know, something. Are you all okay with Jennifer and I working on that? Oh, please. Okay, without it having to come back in front of the board to be approved and all of that good stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and it's a discussion item, but we'll we'll get it done, and then we can report on it at our next meeting. Well, since it, it it's probably going to cost something, does that need to go to the council for approval to do that? Other than paper, what's it going to cost? I give you some ink, <laughs> ink, paper, time, labor. labor. If we give them the geo voice in the sky, <laughs> if we give you the language. Is it hard for you to do a stuffer into the utility bills on a half sheet of paper? No, that's something that can be approved uh, administratively. Okay. Would it have to be a stuffer or could it be printed on the white part of the utility bill? Um, I think we are pretty limited as far as um, it depends because we can add a link to the water bills um, and that link could direct the person to a web page, for example. Um, other than that, it would need to be a separate piece of paper. Okay, so for the printed one, it could be a stuffer. For the ones like I do for the Big Ben Art Council, I get notified and I go out and retrieve it. There could be a link on that one. Well, I can on make the, a QR code that is easily put on a piece of paper. I don't know if that's something that we could add. So on the utility bill, we can't really change those, but we can add an additional link or or, or text, small text, you know, it's, but we can't really add a, a full infographic or anything. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll do the best we can to get it in the utility bill in some form. Uh, it's just there's a lot of wasted paper there. Yeah. White paper. Yeah. Or, you know, a card, mm -hmm. you know, payroll stuffers is what I'm the most familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to stick it in the monthly PSA. We're going to put it on the website and we'll get that going. Uh, the next item was uh, discuss the 2023 fiscal year objections regarding a collection program for utility bill donations. That is uh, the city manager is currently working on the utility bill ordinance. So no action can be is required on that item right now. Uh, we're going to have to wait and let that process work its way through before we're going to be able to act on that. So those two things are working on, and, and this is not part of discussion, but also we have a goal, um, excuse me, wildlife management. <clears throat> but we can talk about that at another time. All right, we have an action item. Um, we have all of the paper here. I don't know if anybody got a chance to look at it, but we are, um, we're going to approve a recommendation to the city council amending chapter 10 for animals. What we did or what Geo did, he did a great job at it. He went through and he removed all the fee designations in chapter 10 for animals. Uh, so actually, that Jennifer actually did most of the work. I just reformatted different areas of the text. Sneaky, thank you. Let me give, give Gio the compliment. <laughs> I was going to wait till you were done. <laughs> yeah, I would say no, no, no. Oh. All right. I mind giving him credit too. All right. Well, thank you, Gio. Yeah. Jennifer, she removed all of the, all the permits. Uh, and then made all of the changes that, you know, talk about where to find the fees. Uh, Jennifer, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what you did? Because, you know, I can see the line out. But... Yeah, I pretty much just lined out any anything that said um, a fee and then referred back to where they need to go. Um, to see, it says, uh, if you look at, there's probably right here, it says all fees in accordance with Appendix C, uh, yeah. animal services fees. That was replaced um, with the actual fees. Okay. So, and this is this is so that if we um, if we want to change our fees at any time, we don't have to go through 
um, getting an ordinance change. This so that we can just go ahead and and do it that way. So much and it's more logical. Cheaper for the city. It's easier for it's easier for everybody. Yeah, so much more logical. Uh, in addition, while she was doing that, uh, we also uh, worked on the permit requirements for kennels, private boarding uh, as a business. And that is, I looked it up yesterday, now I can't find it, 10, very last page. It's got a whole section, Article 5, I think. No, 10, 20, 10, the Article 5 kennels, section 10-221 and it's on page 13. So you'll see there that we've made uh, a change, um, submit an application for a permit and uh, it's submitted to the animal services supervisor. Uh, the animal services supervisor or other authorized rep is empowered to issue the permit but at the discretion of the animal services supervisor or authorized city representative, a permit may de be deferred to the city council so that a public hearing may be held and interested persons may have the opportunity to voice concerns. In addition, a neighbor notice requirement is established requiring the city to send public hearing notices to neighbors within 200 feet for a permit requested under this section. And those letters must be sent 10 days prior. And the maximum length of the permit issued is one year. And after the public hearing, the city council may approve or deny a permit request. Um, and the animal services officer, officer must complete an inspection. So uh, that part really is about at the discretion, they may refer it to the city council to hold a public hearing, especially if, if there's some concern about neighbors being too close. And then down in, uh, section D, it's going to be renewed annually. And if the ownership of the, of the place in which the animals are kept is changed, their permit must be changed accordingly upon written verified application. And any permit issued under this section shall be subject to suspension or revocation by the city for violations. And do we have a lot of traffic? Not at all. This came up actually because somebody applied for one and currently it states that it's just up to me to allow it to happen and I didn't feel co comfortable proofing well I don't want that yeah so I, I this is why we'll, I wanted to change it and we also go on to say that the permittee must permanently display the permit number on a display board so that we know what they're front, doing like front. yeah <laughs> and we're just we're talking about residential too right that's why I was so uncomfortable with it. You know, plopping a, a kennel down in a neighborhood just doesn't sit right with me. Right. But Plus, there's something that's going through the uh, board, mm -hmm. the Texas Board of Veterinarians, mm -hmm. uh, about kenneling facilities that are business kenneling mm -hmm. facilities um, that they would have, and it's excluding veterinarian offices and so forth, that they are supposed to have, and this hasn't passed yet, from what I understand, a person present 24 hours a day. Ooh. So they have to live on the premise. All right, down the street? No, it wouldn't count for me. <laughs> it wouldn't? No, because I'm a veterinarian office. Oh, okay. I'm not a boarding facility. I board. Will you, it, it rolls it out. With the Will you let us know if that passes so yeah. we can change your order? Yeah, I thought that was very disconcerting. Yeah. Um, and I read in there the clause about because I would have to eliminate in my entire boarding mm -hmm. and just have animals that are there that are sick, right. you know, or something like that. But uh, they excluded veterinarian right. offices. Yeah, and we we normally, whatever the state does, uh -huh. we don't always have to change. Am I right about this? We don't always have to change ordinances, you know, but it's good to have it in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't think that it has been addressed formally. Okay, but I read that online. That is interesting. What does that mean for animal shelters? No, animal shelters were excluded. It's boarding it's facilities. Private. Yeah, okay. it's like these big, huge ones that they have over there in Midland Odessa area mm -hmm. that are paws for play or play for paws or mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Those type of facilities would have to have somebody on the premise 24-7. Hmm. Okay. So we'll see. 
Yeah. Keep why are they? Why? Why do they think that that's necessary? I guess that if one of the animals get in trouble, I mean, you're going to have to have some. Like, is this like uh, you're in a frat house or something like that, and you have to go walk the halls? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I 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 mean, I don't know. 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 Had some reason for it to come up. Something. I would so, think it would be litigious. Somebody suing because the loss of Fifi because Fifi choked and nobody was there. Or right. What if they have a fire? Where they have a fire, but they can't get them out. <laughs> well, yeah. disaster. They would probably have to have the in the same same thing that uh, with any business is having those types of monitoring devices for either CO2 or right or my cousin had a, monoxide I guess just had her one-year-old puppy die at a boarding facility mm -hmm. and it it was a, it turned out it was a, a chronic problem I mean it was something what do you call it Conge uh, congenital congenital mm -hmm. but they put the dog in bed and they came in in the morning the dog was dead and it happens. Yeah, it happens. You know, so it scares cool. me to death to have to have some 22 year old cat in my facility that's boarding. Mm -hmm. and, that's that. and it's like, okay, hurry up, come back. <laughs> yeah. Don't be gone long. Oh, no. Six, come back at yeah. 4 30 in the morning. Yeah. Well, okay, keep us informed. Anyway, the very last uh, piece is you can refuse to issue the permit. And it says the decision of the animal services officer shall be final. Unless the applicant shall within 10 days after refusal write a written appeal to the city secretary addressed to the city manager requesting review. And then everything will happen in there. So that's the only change in ordinance other than lining out anything that has to do with fees. Am I right? There isn't anything else in there. I think there was there might have been some just small grammatical things that happened, okay. but it wasn't anything, anything new. That changed the intent. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, I know everybody has read this. It's not, it's only about what, 14 pages, 15 pages? We do pretty good on ordinances. Yeah, we're not too bad. Uh, so, I'll entertain a motion. And then we can discuss afterwards if you want to. Passing the ordinances yeah. as they are? Yeah. And we have time for discussion afterwards. I guess I make a motion to pass the ordinances as they are. I have a second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Or would you like a little more time? No, oh, I often just pull all the numbers out and put them here. Yeah, that's what she did. That's, that's the second. A good idea. I know. So we can change them. I did find a couple of things that um, I was wondering if could, they could be changed in here. <laughs> all right, when we get to that. Yeah, when we get to okay. that. So. You want to know typos too? Yeah, of course. Good. On the yeah. very last page, right above dangerous dogs, that renewal is spelled wrong. We're not voting on that yet. <laughs> I know, but I'm just, I <laughs> I printed this at home and I grabbed my folder, but oh. didn't grab what I had. I, I can't remember if I had anything oh. else. Yeah, renewal. 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 Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. All right, that one passes. Now, everybody's excited to get to the line paper. Let's get. Did we get a second on that motion? Yes, you did. You had it from Pat. I did it. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, please check my phone. Voice in the sky. Well, Jennifer, can y'all go up on any of the connections so that I know? Okay. Oh, Jennifer, that was your item. I shouldn't have been reading it. You want to talk about this one? Is it true? <laughs> Sorry about okay. that. I'm exhausted, so go. All right, all right. No, I, I mean, I can talk about this too. Okay, so this please. is, um, what I did here is I made a, um, it's a spreadsheet and it has, I went um, ordinance by ordinance. And as I was taking them out of our ordinances, I was just throwing them onto the um, this spreadsheet here. And it describes what, what it is, where what code it was found in, and then the fees that are involved. Um, I didn't up any, many of the fees. I think maybe a couple of them were up, but pretty much this is what we are charging currently at our shelter. And when we want to review these each year, it doesn't have to, does it come before the AAB to review the fees or is this going to be done administratively within city offices? That's a good question. 
Geo, eye in the sky. Uh, the way that it's written, it can go directly to city council, but um, it doesn't stop the AAB from reviewing first and making a recommendation. Okay, if we're interested. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Anybody see anything in there? So my spelling is probably not good. So under, definitely under the cremation that. on pets owned pets. Pets owned. Yes. There's five here. What is that referring to? So in the ordinance, I believe uh, under section 10-50, um, it is, uh, and this is this is for a body pickup. But we've, uh, that's a body pickup um, at a residence. Uh -huh. um, but we've been charging 15 and I believe that five is actually, I wrote five. So I believe that yeah. five is actually stated in there. Um, something else that I wanna look at too is underneath that says livestock. Uh, we don't pick up livestock. And I've actually been um, been told by um, Megan, our city manager, that we should probably remove that. Yeah, if y'all don't do it, if you don't offer the service. Yeah. And Zach had come across that mm -hmm. not too long ago. Yeah, we had discussed that too. Do we want to remove so who that? Does that? We can. They would yeah. have to do that. It's a it's oh. privately, but this man reached out good. to our veterinarian office to remove a horse mm -hmm. that had died in the city limits but we would have to call it wouldn't just be an animal control thing we'd have to call out different people from different departments with the equipment all of this would be a, a big ordeal yeah yep. and it wouldn't be just probably a 75 dollar cost either no it came all down to it even taking it driving it out to the dump the dump costs a bunch to dispose of an animal yeah can we remove that ourselves in this session to go ahead and remove it why don't you just approve the ordinance? No, no. The this is the schedule of fees. But that schedule of fees goes with the ordinance, right? No, no. It's That's a separate. It's item. a separate. Yeah, yeah. It's totally and separate. Yeah, you can do what you want. Okay. The other. That's what makes that so nice. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that I noticed right above where cremation is, there's a large animal quarantine due to exposure fee. Um, we do not have the facility at our shelter to do a large animal quarantine. Pat sees it too. So, so known exposure. Right. So there is a uh, you look kind of up there, the large animal quarantine fee that I have a um I wrote in there a fee depending on charge from the holding facility used. So um, you would have to get a I think that yeah. changing the um the known exposure quarantine from 50 to that that text there um makes more sense. So the large animal quarantine fee. Uh, due to known known exposure would be fees depend on the charge from the holding facility. Mm -hmm. But okay. those are, you're not talk, talking about a 10-day quarantine period. Yeah. You're talking about a 90-day quarantine period up to even six months mm -hmm. quarantine for an exposure, mm -hmm. not a rabid animal possibility. That's, that's sticky. But, but we bottom line is we don't have a place at the shelter to hold a large animal. So they would have to go to a holding facility. Who's who is authorized for a holding facility like that for a quarantine here in town? Yeah, nobody. I wouldn't think they'd so. probably have to transport the animal to an out of town facility that's equipped for a large animal quarantine. Is my guess. Like we're a, talking about a horse or a cow. cow. We're talking about a horse or a cow. Any large animal. Big. Could we pay a local person? You're talking about 90 days. Okay. Quarantine fee or longer. Everything. And I don't know if that's if it, with a known exposure you could do a home quarantine or if it needs to be in a facility. I don't know that there is a facility. That's something we would have to look into. That requires some discussion. So it have to be on. Kind of we have to pay. Okay. Bottom line, we're not charging anybody fifty dollars for their horse to stay at the shelter because we can't do it. Okay. Yeah, the bottom one we'd get rid of. So we could leave it in there due to known exposure fees depend on the charge from the holding facility. Yeah, leave. that leaves it vague. So we're leave it, it vague. Easy to go. Yeah. And God, God help us if it comes up, we we'll figure it out. I hope not. But that's not during my time. Yeah. Is there anything else in here, Jennifer? You want those were to... the only two things that I saw that I was like, oh, why did I? It's been a little while. Why did I keep that in there? So, um, 
those were the only two things. Well, and if you'll notice the permits, we do have permit for kennels, $50. Mm -hmm. And those fees were up when, I think during our discussion. Yeah, we exactly, that was exactly right. Yeah. And your yearly your manual for kennels is uh, $10 and we're going up to 25. So that's the two, the two increases we've already discussed. <laughs> First store counted up since the six months. Okay, but that's if we if we were still bringing our cats over. Okay. That's what that meant. It's not your right. cats. It's... So on the medical for the vaccines, <laughs> snap. I mean the snap test. All this. This is just internal. This is not yeah, external. We we just charge. Yeah, we just charge at cost what we're getting them for. So Charging who? If we if we um, get an animal in, they stay over there. There's their impound days. And you've adopted them more or less. Well, I mean, if we had hand. day four, somebody comes to reclaim their animal, and we've already given them shots. So they're stuff. charged for these. They're things. charged for those things. I understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. It's not like Joe Blow comes walking up, hey, I need no, to get my absolutely no, no. We're not tested it. for yeah. Lickia, the car no, one. No, okay. This is when they just didn't get there in time and we've already done the services. Sure. Okay, hey, anything else in there that you want to ask a question for or you want clarification? Um, I don't think we have euthanasia. Is euthanasia spelled right both places? Yeah, yeah, I know I must have. Yeah. Uh, so the yeah. small animal sorry. euthanasia and large animal euthanasia. <laughs> it doesn't look like is, I have, oh, there it is. So the small no, animal it's euthanasia. Not right. is, no, like, no, it's not right. <laughs> if an owner. Phonetically, it's right. It's an yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. Youth in Asia. Youth, a well, in every time I write youth, it wants to write with. Oh, could an owner walk in with a small animal and ask you to euthanize? Is that what that covers? That's what that covers. But we, we usually, unless it's an absolute emergency, we'll say you need to go to your your your. Okay. So, uh, and we tried to make it so that the cost was probably more than it would be at the veterinarian anyway, for just a regular euthanasia. Well, we're going up to 50. So Mary, does that? 50 is what we charge for a non-client. If you're a long-standing client with us, we forego the, the euthanasia charge okay. on most occasions. Okay, so that's why I did that. And then so send you Encourage uh, them to go send to the car. There are times that I, I know I've got when I have the staff, I can send out a sympathy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't had time for that. All right. Anything else in there? Anybody wants to ask questions about? I will entertain a motion to uh, make a recommendation to city council regarding the fee schedule and fee amounts for the animal services department. Do I have a motion? What about the changes that we're proposing with, to make for the large yeah. animals? With the changes of, am I recording? Yes. Uh, we're going to remove large animal quarantine due to known exposure, but we're going to change large animal quarantine fee due to known exposure, where it would say fees depend on the charge from the holding facility. And we're going to remove cremation, livestock, own livestock completely. And we're going to fix the spellings, <laughs> but that doesn't need to be said. Typos. All right, there's there's what we're planning on doing. Do I have a motion for that? I so move. Okay, Pat, do I have a second? Second. Uh, Mary Ann, any discussion? All right, are we ready to vote on that? Okay, all approved. Say aye, raise your hand, wave your little fingers. All right. Okay, all opposed, same side. All right, passes. And this looks really nice, Jenny. It looks a really great. nice job. Boy, I can't believe you said that. Well, it's pretty so simple now. You know, you that was such a on everything you want to do. Yeah. You don't have to come back yeah. to rush. You can bring it here, you all decide. Well, and now we've got the, the breeding facility nailed down once it gets to the city council. Right. But we've got something to stand on. Um, okay, our next scheduled meeting is July 11th, 2023. I don't know if anything will come up before then. Uh, our kind of MO has been one meeting we talk about it, the next meeting we vote on it. I'm hoping that we can all have a 
a summer vacation and not have to do July 11th, but obviously if something does come up, Jennifer will shout out. Uh, but other than that, I'm hoping that we all get to, you know, it's right after July 4th, we're all going to Six Flags, right? <laughs> all right. Um, I don't need a motion to adjourn, do I? Yeah, do you? Give me a motion to adjourn, Pat. I'll let Mary Ann do it. I hog the others. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Gio, we're adjourned. 632.